Hey everybody, Scott Sprite here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, June 3rd, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Do that on Monday. I think you'll be glad that you did. And with those free 60 bucks, you can purchase any of my daily packages. You can use that towards anybody else over at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts just by clicking on the link below the this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account over at DocSports.com. All right, coming up a nice day on Sunday. We ended up cashing with the Golden State Warriors, got right back in the win column in the NBA. We'll take a 43 and 24 NBA Finals run into Wednesday's matchup as the series switches to the Bay Area. Game three on Wednesday night. Golden State laying five and a half as I cut this video for that one. We'll see how the hammy responds for Clay Thompson, of course, left the game early in the fourth quarter in game two with a hamstring issue. And also, we'll see if KD finally takes the floor. If Kevin Durant is going to come in and play any minutes at all in game three on Wednesday night. We'll be talking about that and anything that transpires and changes over the next couple of days before we get to uh, the actual tip-off every day during these videos. We'll give you an NBA update for game three. Again, we cashed with Golden State. Uh, we also uh, went one and one in baseball, but how about 2 0 sweep in NASCAR? This NASCAR run has been tremendous. It reminds me of when we started doing NASCAR way back in the late 90s. We have now swept May entire month of May in the first race in June. Perfect since the 1st of May in NASCAR with our matchups. Again, we went 2-0 on uh, Sunday at Pocono and we'll have more NASCAR matches, uh, matchups excuse me, of course, for this upcoming weekend in Michigan. And we'll post those. That's a Sunday race, but we'll post our matchups by late Saturday night. We'll have the exact time for you uh, later this week on the videos. But again, perfect in the month of May. Off to a perfect start 2-0 in the month of June. We've swept May. We're looking to sweep June. June. I, I'm telling you, it's been just a great run of NASCAR. I don't care if you like to watch it or not. It's not my favorite sport to watch, but if you can make money at it, you keep on betting it. That's my philosophy. Speaking of that, I know a lot of folks who don't like to watch the WNBA, but if you can win in the WNBA, there's nothing wrong with putting a few extra bucks in your account and in your bankroll. And we're finally going to start our WNBA on Tuesday of this week, a couple of games going on Tuesday. And we just wanted to see uh, each team get a game or two on under their belt, maybe a game or two or three under their belt, and then get involved, and we will be involved with our first picks available Tuesday morning over at DocSports.com. So overall for Sunday in those sports, I just mentioned we went four and one with our five picks. Excellent, excellent day on Sunday. We like those kind of days, especially the sweep in NASCAR and the win with the Golden State Warriors. Nothing going on in baseball on Monday. I mean, almost uh, four games, and we do have a free pick. Uh, we saved our one baseball play uh, for you for a free pick here that I'm going to give you in just a moment. We cashed another freebie yesterday, the under, and that White Sox game as Giolito continues to pitch extremely well. But a free pick in baseball in just a minute. Wanted to go back to the NBA for a second because we got to know more obviously about the injury to uh, to Clay Thompson and, and that hamstring injury he suffered because he was just chewing up the Raptors and spitting them out, so to speak, and uh, then suffered the injury on a three-point attempt that went awry. He landed kind of funny. Don't know if he was trying to, trying to draw one of those kind of iffy three-point fouls or not, but he came down wrong and missed the rest of the game. Here's what I wanted to mention real quickly. Is Nick Nurse kicking everybody's butt on a coaching level or what right now? Once Clay Thompson went out, Golden State was still up by double digits and with, I don't know, maybe six, seven minutes to go in the game, he goes boxing one on Steph Curry. All of a sudden, this Golden State offense looked like they had no clue what they wanted to do on the offensive end and they went from a double-digit lead down to a two-point lead in a match of about five minutes, Toronto with a chance to actually come from behind and win that game. Fortunately for us, though, Golden State hung on, and uh, they're going to have to figure out now what Nick Nurse is going to throw at him next up in the Bay Area when they go up to uh, uh, on Wednesday for Game 3. As far as everything else, by the way, NHL gets back uh, in action on Monday, and we do have a Game 4 side between the Bruins and the Blues on Monday night. You know about our run in the playoffs. We are up over $1,300 for $100 
per unit betters during this current NHL run. We're in action on Monday. That play available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Monday morning over at DocSports.com. And again, it is a Monday night power play for us, the clash between the Bruins and the Blues. If the Bruins keep that power play going the way it has been in this series, they're probably going to win this game. If the Blues can get their penalty kill going, they've got a great shot to win this game also. And we've got what we think is going to happen over at DocSports.com on Monday. Go grab that. I wanted to mention also that our NFL thumbnail sketches will return on Tuesday's video. We'll be talking to Chicago Bears at that time. All right, let's get to our free pick for Monday, and we're looking at the battle between the Dodgers and the D-backs. And when you look at this pitching matchup, I do believe that the line tells us exactly what's going on. I think we're going to see not only an offensive advantage for the Dodgers, but also in the pitching. Uh, Walker Bueller is going to go for LA, and again, that line's about a buck fifty, but there's only four games. Games, and we think this one has the best chance to land in the win column. Walker Bueller going for the Dodgers, and he'll take on, of course, uh, Arizona's Robbie Ray, and that'll be his counterpart. Here's the thing about Robbie Ray. You look at the ERA, you look at some of the stuff he's done, it doesn't look bad, but again, you know me by now if you've been watching my baseball videos for the past two seasons, and you know me well if you've been betting with me in baseball for the past 20 years. I don't like pitchers who can't come out and display solid control game in, game out. Robbie Ray Ray is walking batters left and right again. He's been getting away with it because he's been taking on, you know, like San Francisco twice in the last three games. I mean, it's just one of those things where he's been facing lesser opposition of late. But I know that the problem is for Robbie Ray, if he can't get those calls, if he can't paint the corners, if he's missing the plate, this Dodger lineup that's averaging over five runs per game on the road against Southpaws is probably going to take it to him. You give them opportunities with guys on base and they're going to take advantage and go after it probably beat you. So listen, I know Walker Bueller was roughed up by Arizona way back on March 31st, opening start for him of the season, but in his previous couple of starts before that, going back to last year and stuff, Walker Bueller pitched extremely well against Arizona. So I trust in Walker Bueller. I do not in Robbie Ray. I think the Dodger bats will be able to make him pay for the free passes that he happens to give to opposing hitters. So we're going to back the LA Dodgers. They are our free pick for Monday. And again, and don't forget, I've got NHL action, a big power play side between the Bruins and the Blues on Monday. It's available Monday morning over at DocSports.com. We'll be back in baseball action on Tuesday. We'll be in WNBA action on Tuesday. NBA returns on Wednesday. Can't wait to talk about that as the injuries get cleared up over the next couple of days. And again, uh, on Tuesday's video, we'll be talking about the Chicago Bears and their over-under wins chances. All right, that's going to do it for Monday. Listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.